Greetings and citations, everyone. I am once again joined by my friend Boximus. Greetings and citations, everyone. How's it going, Ben? Going pretty well. Uh, for a lovely video of us, as usual, talking about our three favorite characters of Rexar, Rokan, and Chen Stormstout. Uh, this has been a video in the making for a while. This is kind of late, actually. Uh, delays happen, I guess. Uh, I'm gonna blame the, the Chen's hat uh, machinima. It's, it's that's fault. It's that fault. I'm gonna also blame the fact that Blizzard keeps giving us content to do. Uh, and it's <laughs> distracting us. So, Blizzard, uh, can you maybe cool it down with the content? We would appreciate it if you uh, let us be. But, uh, yeah, no, um... This video has been in the works for a while. Uh, we made a video a while ago talking about the potential return and reunion of the Founders of Durtar. It happened, and we're going to talk about it. We're going to talk about the, the, the story, the lore, what we feel about it, and all that jazz. So, uh, let's just get right into it. So, before, I, I, I feel like I need to explain the Founders exactly and who they are and why they came to be. Uh, the founders of Duratar are Rexar, the son of Learox, the champion of the Horde, a Machnithal Beastmaster who proved himself to the Horde, proved himself to Thrall, helped out others throughout Duratar, stopped Dalen Proudmore from wiping out the Orcs and the Horde, and became a sort of savior for the uh, Orcs and the Horde and the Tauren and the Ogres and the Trolls. Like, so many uh, races really look up to Rexar in a lot of ways. And then, of course, you have Rokon, who is the current leader and chieftain of Dark Spears, uh, very recently. And, uh, he was kind of just a scout for the Dark Spears. He was kind of his own champion for his people. Uh, he did a little bit of dragon hunting. He formed a bond and friendship with Talanji. Uh, but Rokon, you know, he's a shadow hunter, and he's the current leader of the Dark Spears, and he hung around Rexar a lot. Uh, I'm gonna let Chen be something Box can talk about, because he's, uh box's favorite real quick all right so chen stormstout for many of you that don't know was actually introduced to the warcraft series way back in warcraft 3 like ban mentioned during the founders of duratar campaign um for those who played mists of pandaria you'll know that chen had a very hefty storyline in the valley of the four winds and he actually was very featured in mists of pandaria as a prominent character he's in the shadows of the horde novel um, he shows up during the rebellion so it's been really a long time coming i think for these three to kind of come back together i know ban and i specifically have wanted this for quite some time and chen's always been a wanderer like he's an adventurer he's always seeking adventure so it seemed like it was only a matter of time before rexar and chen and rokon may reunite especially given the circumstance of the storyline um, I actually, back way back in Battle for Azeroth, this is something Ban and I wanted for a long time from these characters, but I'm really happy that it happened, finally, right? Like, Chen Stormstout, I think he's been, like, the best on Pandaren character in terms of, like, quest slides, like we saw him in 8.3, and uh, seeing him show up in the uh, planes after the quest line with the two other founders I thought was really, really cool. Um, to mourn Bovon Wind Totem, but yeah, yeah, we'll get into that uh, very shortly. Yeah, I'm. It's hard for me to like hide my giddiness, or rather, show my giddiness. It's when you have something you've wanted for almost twenty years uh, happen, and like I will admit, I wish it was a little more grandiose. But the fact that it did happen it makes me very happy and very pleased that we got it. Uh, the founders even admit when you encounter them that they really, they try to keep in touch, but they really hadn't seen each other for so long. So this is not only for us players, but for them, it's the first reunion in a long time. So it, it's a canonical, yes, that they, this is the first time they've reunited and uh, it's all because of Bovon. Um, so let's go ahead and talk about uh, the Bovon questline and Bane. So... Bane Bloodhoof is the son of Karen Bloodhoof, and Karen, I never really counted him as a founder of Duratar member, but he technically is. Uh, he was a part of the crew uh, at the very dead end of it. 
uh, to help fight Dalen. And of course, Karen is dead. Karen lost his life in the Cataclysm against Garrosh Hellscream in the Makara, where Magatha poisoned her his weapon. Uh, not his weapon, Garrosh's weapon. And uh, so Karen's been dead for a while, and Bane was someone that they rescued. And they rescued Bane thanks to the efforts of Bovan, who used his uh, connections to the spirits. His He's a spirit walker. So he was able to use his magics to find Bane, locate him, and take out the centaur. And the centaur are cannibals on Kalimdor. They are the worst of the worst. They are not good people. They are terrible things. And Bane had to deal with the centaur all his life as a child, as a young Tauren. Even Karen had to deal with them as a young Tauren. So the the centaur are not a good thing on Kalimdor. They've never been a good thing on Kalimdor. Uh, but on the Dragon Isles, these are completely different centaur. They're nicer, they're kinder, they have a little bit of more of their own culture and leaders, and they're just well good all around. And Bane's not used to that. And so Bane, he's trying to find Bovan, who's gone missing in search of the uh, Dragon Isles, uh, to go to the Iron Plains because Onara, a wild god, told him to go here. And I kind of think that's interesting because it kind of connects also to Dezco and his Tauren, who also had dreams of Pandaria to find a home for his tribe on Pandaria and that land. So it's kind of a good nod to that, the fact that, you know, the Tauren, they are a people who like to migrate and move to different locations. They don't stay in one place like most Centaur do, not Centaur, Tauren do in Thunderbluff and Mogor and all that stuff. So... It's nice to kind of have that repeated with the uh, with Bovon's tribe, the Wind Totem tribe. But uh, things go terribly for the Wind Totems. They get attacked by these centaur, and it kind of reinforces the idea there are no good centaur. They're just evil creatures that want to butcher the Tauren at every chance they get. You cannot trust them. And Bane, he's kind of dealing with that. He's unsure of these centaur still, uh, which is very different for Bane. Bane's typically very nice, very kind, and despite that, he is still showing a bit of a grudge, a bit of, you know, hostility towards these centaur, and it's reinforced the moment he finally finds Bovon, and Bane really wanted to save Bovon this time. He wanted to be the one to save his savior, and he couldn't, and that strikes a chord with Bane. Bane goes completely ham on the centaur. He tears them apart, turns their corpses into mush. He he is pissed off. This is the first time I think we've seen Bane pissed off since the Grim Totem attacked uh, Mogor. So, and I, I guess <laughs> also when Sylvanas was being Sylvanas. Uh, during Battle for Ezroth against Sarfang and the Horde and all that stuff. But Bane Bloodhoof went really angry here over Bovan's death. And uh, Bovan is finally uh, mourned with the centaur that died there. The centaur even come in to save Bane, which is really nice. And after the dust has settled, Bane and the centaur join together to mourn their fallen. Uh, there's several other than... There are Tauren that did die besides Bovan. I didn't really clarify that before. Um, but the, uh, yeah, the Centaur, they uh, mourn with their fallen with Bane, and it's kind of like a joint effort. And uh, the Wind Totem tribe are making a home for themselves in the Anarin Plains, despite their losses, despite uh, everything that happened to them. And Bane is kind of able to make an understanding or reach an understanding with the Centaur there. Uh, to form a friendship and form a bond, which is obviously very new and very different for the Tauren, as they have usually, you know, you know, again, these are the enemies that they've had all of their life, like, for the longest time. And uh, finally, that leads into Rexar, Rokan, and Chen uh, coming together to mourn Bovan with Bane. And uh, this kind of makes B Bane, in my eyes, the new founder of Durotar. Like, he kind of joins their little group uh, since, you know, Karen's gone. And it makes sense because, you know, they rescued uh, Bane back in the day as one of their missions. And that restored hope with Karen. And uh, they each have their own things to say, which I'll leave on the screen here, I guess. I don't have it memorized because it's been 
It's been it, like a month now, I think. It's been a month. Y'all will have some really nice things to say about Bovon and Bane and just being together again. And it's really nice. And it, 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 I really hope this isn't the last time we see them together because it would be nice to see them kick ass together. Uh, but yeah, this this was a really good quest line and a really good follow up. The uh, I actually got teased quite a bit by some of the developers that worked on this quest chain about it, and it was just really nice getting to actually see the founders of Duratar together again. It was really nice. Do you, do you know what, too, Ban? Can I say something like, really positive about this, too? Do you know Go what ahead. this felt yeah. like more than anything? And it this goes back to what you were saying, like, the devs on Twitter be excited about it. I love, like... One, I love that just community engagement from the developers too, but also it, it feels like they really like listened to like what people were looking for. Cause I know other people have talked about this like on Twitter and stuff for a long time. Like I think a lot of people wanted this to happen and it's amazing what like a small thing, like three characters reuniting can do for a storyline and for players that really enjoy something like that, you know, like, uh, I know whenever I see a character that I like that I haven't seen in a while, like, you know, do you know who I'd love to see on screen again, Ban? That's a small character. Uh, High Commander Volrath or Warlord from the Darkspear tribe. Like, if that happened, like, little things like that can go a long way. I know these are more major characters than that. But uh, seeing Chen reunite with Rexar and Rokon, and I think, like, something you said, just to go back to it, I actually do think it's cool that Bane's kind of a part of that group now. I think, like... For character interactions, if they if they go that route, like I think Rexar would be really cool with Bane. Same with Rokon, obviously because he's leader of the Dark Spear, and um, Chen would be awesome. And it, it's such a good dynamic where if we got a quest line or a world quest with that someday, that that would be awesome. And it's definitely set up to where if Blizzard ever wanted to in an expansion, they got it. They got it right there. And e e either way, if we don't get something. I'm just happy to say we we got something with them like that as a fan of those characters that really made me happy just that small moment and it like almost more than other moments in Dragonflight just because like it's characters we know we love and like it was kind of unexpected but like the the hype of it that quest line was great and uh I would say 10.07 was a really good patch like and that aspect it I I said it to you earlier but like Again, just seeing those characters show up is really nice. I don't want to go too off on how much I like the storyline of that patch, but to stick to that, it's it's really good. It's really it really is just nice having them all together again, and canonically that being the first time that they've seen each other. Uh, I'd argue right, right? it would like I wanted this. I wanted Rexar, Rokon, Chen. Uh, to reunite in the Dark Spear Rebellion back in Mr. Pandaria, which was alluded to maybe happening. Weirdly, Rokon has no involvement in Dark Spear Rebellion, which is probably the greatest sin they ever did in that patch. I can understand. That, that is very weird. I can understand Rexar not showing up, which he actually was planned to show up and help against Gorkron, which mm -hmm. is also a sin that they didn't do it, but they cut it because of time, so. I'm gonna At count least we it got Shen. It was gonna happen, <laughs> but like they even like I remember in the Dark Spear Rebellion, like Vulgans, like look at us three back in Duratar again, and it's like, yeah, it, it's these. Mm -hmm. it, it was nice having Thrall, Chen, and Rokon, not Rokon, sorry, Thrall, Chen, and Vulgan together. But it would have been so much better if Rexar, Rokon, Car not Karen, Bane, mm -hmm. Bane is a part of the Dark Spear Rebellion, which was nice, but I, I think. I, I think that, like, po poetically, Mop would have been the best time to do this. Um, so would Battle for Ezroth, too. And BFA. One, one of those three. Um, but I think if we were to get it, Dragonflight was a nice chance to reunite with these three. I for sure. I, I, I honestly didn't think that was going to happen, to be honest with you. I mean, a part of me was like, yeah, maybe it could happen, because Rexar has those connections with Sibelian, but I figured Rokon would be too busy as Chieftain, and Chen, well... Chen had honestly made the most sense to be on the Dragon Isles out of all three, and I'm glad he oh, is right. there. He, he, he's probably loving it right now. Because it is a new landmass that's been covered by mists. <laughs> um, <laughs> and it's honestly... Been... Yeah? Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Play, playing a Pandar in this expansion uh, has been has felt the best since Mists of Pandaria. I said it. 
This is, there's been some expansions where playing like Shadowlands playing a Pandaren felt kind of weird. Like I love playing Pandaren. Playing him in Shadowlands was kind of weird. Uh, Wad felt like a little off, even though it was right after Mop. But like Legion felt good, but in BFA did. In well, no, BFA did not at the start of it. I'll be honest. Uh, that's a whole other thing. I love BFA, but uh, yeah, Dragonflight as a Pandaren player thematically feels really, really good. And uh, seeing Chen there again, huge win. Huge win. It's it's always really a win to see our favorite characters. I mean, I'm a big Rexar fan. That has been acutely made, but at, at the same <laughs> time, not acutely, abundantly made that I like this character, and every time he shows up, I'm happy. Now, Battle for Azeroth did some weird things with Rexar, but at the same time, I was still happy with it, regardless of the squandering that they kind of did with the character, but still he was fine, and still he was good, and still he made sense, and still he worked out and then having Rokun become the chief in the Dark Spear is really nice. And Chen Chen as far as I know is running the Stormstout Brewery. I forget what is his canonical state right now, but it was just nice to see all of them gather together again. And I would really like it. I would really just like to see the characters either uh do something together against a greater threat. I'm honestly surprised we're not seeing them fight against Farak right now and his forces and the Inarin plans right now, but Hopefully they do something with those, tr not trio, but like all four of them fighting on the Dragon Isles together against something. Uh, Rotocron's forces, uh, old god stuff, you know, something. I really want them to do uh, something with those characters. I actually believed that what was going to happen with the founders of Duratar specifically was that Chen was going to retire, Rokon was going to retire because he's the chieftain of the Dark Spears, and I figured Rexar would continue to do his own thing and continue to be the champion of the Horde, but I figured Lee Li and uh, Zakan would take the place of Chen and Rokon. But I am happy to say that it's really nice to see that Bane, Rokon, Chen, and Rexar are together again, even if it's only to mourn Bovon, but at the same time, I do hope we get to see these characters become active again and do something together again. But for the moment, this is a very nice way to cap things off, and I really hope they continue to make storylines like this with other characters and with these characters. I, I think that's all <laughs> I have really to say on this question, but it was so nice. That small patch, I may like it more than the current patch right now. We shall see. We're still very early on with this patch. The stuff with the Black Dragons is nice. Uh, and Farak is a really cool villain. I really like the Incarnates. But yeah, I really hope we get to see more from the founders of Duratar. Um, so what, I, what I'd like to close with, too, um, I'd, I'd echo that sentiment with Ban, where I'd love to see the founders of Duratar again in a quest line. I mentioned that earlier, too. And, like, I, 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 I really appreciate Blizzard putting this in the game in Dragonflight. Uh, it made the patch really memorable for me and I think a lot of other players. Uh, also, I know we've we've talked about this to death, ma mainly me still talking about it, uh, but I am happy that they fixed Chen's model too for this. Uh, I hope that is kind of in preparation for the Pandaren heritage armor. I'd love that. Uh, but again, I'm happy Chen's model is fixed. Fantastic stuff. Uh, but yeah, I, I'm just happy these three are back together. I, I hope we do get a quest line. Maybe like, hey, if uh, Aridacron and the Incarnates keep invading, we'll see them in another area in the uh, plains. I could definitely see that, especially if the Horde gets more involved. Uh, but yeah, it would be it would be cool to see Rexar lead the charge and have that founder, not founder of Duratar, the champion of the Horde title come into play finally because he has not used it and we have not seen him lead. I would love to have kind of like a uh, supreme commander of Kalimdor vibes that Sarfang had in Classic mm -hmm. with Rexar just leading the Alliance and Horde forces against the uh, dragons because Rexar has a lot of good friends with the dragons. He has a lot of good connections. He's buddy with Sibelian. Let's see that. Let's, it's weird. We haven't really had a Rexar and Thrall interaction either in a while. Uh, it, it, I love interactions, so please, just more interactions. Uh, it'd also be nice to have Rokon get a new op model update at the moment. Rokon is the only one of the founders of Duratar that does not have a unique model. So hopefully with the uh, heritage armor with the trolls, he'll get that or something. Uh, give him a beard, give him his really cool look from warcraft 3 but yeah i i 
the heritage armor stuff has been really good for the orcs. We had Rexa reunite with uh, Leorox, but that's not for this video, but we brought it up anyways. Um, but yeah, just, I love reunions. Let's see more of them. I think that's all I have to say, though. You have anything else to yeah. say, Box? No, no, I, I think we covered just about everything that, you know, we needed to. Um, all right, just all right. This after the boundaries are back. <laughs> Longer than what was intended, but you and Box and I like to ramble, so that's what I figured would happen. Also, we might have had a Moxie try to interrupt the stream earlier. Not stream. <laughs> uh, talks earlier. But I'm going to end things off. Thank you guys for listening. Thank you guys for watching. We will talk more about the Founders of Duratar if they show up again and other stuff. Uh, check out Box. He does a lot of cool stuff with Machinima and the WoW stuff and other stuff. Obviously, you know that I do the same thing on here, so... Uh, have a good one, and bye! Thanks for having me on, Ban, and thank you all for tuning in. See ya!